Much like broken rocks, hundreds of thousands of asteroids circle the Sun between Mars and Jupiter on orbits which are sometimes potentially hazardous for Earth. Others orbit at far greater distances. It is with one of these primitive building blocks of our solar system that Rosetta will rendezvous. On its long odyssey to investigate and land on a comet, ESA's probe will be conducting its first scientific investigation, flying by asteroid 2687 Steins at a distance of 800 kilometers. Only a handful of asteroids have been seen at such close quarters, but never one of this type. The vast majority of asteroids are bright S-class silicates. Darker, more primitive ones further from the Sun contain carbon. Steins belongs to a rare, largely unknown intermediate E-class, very bright and probably with a much weathered surface. Ground telescopes and Rosetta itself at a great distance in March 2006 have measured the brightness of the asteroid. Steins is roughly spherical, 4.6 kilometers in diameter, rotating once in six hours. But knowledge of its orbit, plus or minus 100 kilometers, remained insufficient to ensure a successful and safe flyby. So, since the start of August, Rosetta's navigation cameras and the imaging spectrometer OSIRIS have been tracking the asteroid, still a distant speck of light 24 million kilometers away. These measurements will allow the orbit to be defined to within a few kilometers. Forty minutes before closest approach, Rosetta will flip over 180 degrees to keep the asteroid in view and at the same time fly in a thermally safe attitude. The flyby will be extremely fast at a relative speed of 8.6 kilometers per second with views obtained of the asteroid changing extremely quickly in a matter of minutes. For over a year, Rosetta scientists and leading asteroid experts have been planning this encounter. All the probe science instruments will be active at some point, but the most spectacular data are expected from the OSIRIS camera, which should provide high-resolution imagery, discerning objects only 14 meters in size. The Virtus spectrometer will obtain light curves, providing a mineralogical map of the surface, whilst the ALICE ultraviolet spectrometer will search for signs of any thin, tenuous atmosphere around the asteroid. Indications that all has gone well and the reception of the first images are expected at the European Space Operations Centre some two hours after the encounter. There, in Darmstadt, Germany, Rosetta flight engineers and ESA flight dynamics experts have been meticulously preparing this event. The flyby, in effect, will be pushing the spacecraft to its design limits, and numerous contingency scenarios have been envisaged in case of any anomaly. Scientists expect much from the close encounter with this asteroid, providing more insights into how the solar system and its planets were formed. However, the Steins flyby will also be a crucial rehearsal, putting the Rosetta spacecraft through its spaces for the next rendezvous, for the much larger asteroid Lutetia in 2010, and of course for the mission's final objective, orbiting and landing on comet Churyumov-Gerasimenko in 2014.